Hey YouTube, Dick Ghostmoon here. Everybody's heard of Alex Jones, radio and TV host, 10 million viewers a week. Well, he watches my videos. Um, a couple of days ago, I posted this one, very important video, link underneath, um, exposing Charlie Veach for having planned to betray the truth movement all along. There's a, a, a picture icon of what the video looks like, and underneath the video, I posted it on the 6th of July 2011. Now, if we go over to uh, one day later, here comes Alex Jones, 7th of July, uploaded by the Alex Jones channel, 7th of July, same picture icon, he pointed the video camera at the screen, exactly what I did, and uh, he also talked about being censored by Google. And I, t in my video, previous video, talked about how Alex Jones had censored my, my comments. But to be honest, none of that really matters. Okay, so this is uh, really important information. Uh, what we have here is Alex Jones, uh, Charlie Veach, and Dan Dix. If you look closely, uh, Charlie Veach and Dan Dix, they're in the same room together, best of friends. And this is on a, an Alex Jones broadcast. Uh, are these two gentlemen joining us via video Skype? Uh, so whoever wants to go first, uh, break down what's happening. We we saw burning cars, a lot of intel. Okay, okay, that that's enough. All, all I wanted to show you was that Alex is interviewing Charlie and Dan Dix, who are together in the same room, right? So let, let's just make a mental note, and we'll come back to that. Let's look what Alex has been saying over the last few years about Charlie Veach. Let me introduce Charlie Veach and Dan Dix. Uh, and I know both these gentlemen. Uh, Charlie has the Love Police over in the UK, traveled over to uh, Canada for the G20. Okay, okay. So there's no way that Alex Jones can now say that he's uh, not promoting or uh, he's not or he's not promoted Charlie Veach because he's giving links to the Love Police's website on a national syndicated radio show with, with supposedly 10 million viewers. Let's let's um, look at another video. Well, it was about a year ago that we had Charlie uh, Veach on with us. And back then he hadn't started the Love Police, kind of like We Are Change or InfoWars uh, groups. It's like British Tea Party. And they just go out to public events and show the police state and confront global... Right, okay. So, clearly, Alex, you're promoting Charlie Veach. And, and you have promoted him. And I just think that this is a schoolboy error. Okay, it should be obvious now, by now that uh, both Alex Jones and Dan Dix are psychologically invested in Charlie Veach um, and they just want you to shut up and stop talking about it because the more that people talk about it the more that it looks embarrassing on, on either of these guys that they don't want to have their egos bruised for having not spotted that there was a fraud in amongst them even, even though all the evidence was out there that uh, he was a fraud they don't want to be identified for having saddled up next to some guy that was going to stitch up the truth movement all along so obviously, obviously, they're going to come out and, and say things like... Your best option, in my opinion, is just to unsubscribe to the channel, stop watching the videos, stop watching the, you know, sharing and spreading the links. Um, just don't pay attention anymore. I mean... Yeah, that's right. Just, just forget about Charlie Veach, because... When, if, any, if anybody's asking about Charlie Veach, they're also going to be asking about you. Why did you not spot that he was a fraud? Why were you saddled up to him? Why was Charlie Veach being promoted all the time? You know, these kind of questions, they're not damaging to the truth movement, but they need to be exposed to the light. We need to know, we need to be posting videos exposing everything to the light before the BBC documentary makes fools out of everybody. Now, um... I, I just think that it, it's it, it's a necessity that we expose the truth before that BBC documentary. Now tomorrow I've got a very very important video about about this guy. I'm going to expose how the scam works tomorrow. Very very important. Stay tuned. We got to get back to what's important, which is fighting the new world order. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, are you competent to be fighting the New World Order if, you, if you're not competent to spot a shill? 